Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and a quick update from the Balaklia front. So at the Balaklia front, uh, based on the latest information I've seen on, on some of the sources uh, on Telegram, uh, it's estimated that uh, the Ukrainian forces in this area, that means the, the forces that is in the advance, they are pushing through these tentacles, uh, is around thirteen to 14,000 troops. So uh, according to uh, Dogalreva, Anna. So basically, this, she's a journalist that's on the ground in Balaklia or, or no, not Balaklia, somewhere around here. Uh, she's on the ground. Uh, she reported that uh, there's about 11,000 soldiers uh, in the northern lake. So so this, the northern tentacle, uh, stretching from Shevchenko Bay all the way towards Kopians, uh, the number of troops is 11,000 troops uh, estimated. Okay, so then, you know, don't take this uh, too hard, but no, it's an estimate. And uh, on the lower lake, on the southern lake, southern lake is this one that stretched all the way to San Kobe. Uh, it's around 2,500 troops. So it's around 2,500 troops. Uh, we, we, they call it the pocket. I'm not sure why they call it the pocket. It, are they encircled? No, I'm not so sure. But there are some uh, talk about them. Be, this, group, this group here, this southern lake group, uh, that is under operation and settlement. Uh, I have no idea how are they being encircled uh, in in this sense. So we will see. We will take a look. Uh, see as per, as if information flows. Uh, we will see whether if that's the case. And um, other than that, uh, the the tentacle that was that stretched all the way to uh Horokovaka, uh has been uh, gone, half gone. The the troops the troops that was fighting here no more news about them. There was another troop. Uh, the other forces trying to go down the road uh they were stopped by russian forces at yasinovate yeah yasinovate is also the place where we had that uh, famous uh, radio tower uh video where the ukraine uh, a guy removed the russian flag and put on the ukrainian flag at yasinovate and uh the the this is that uh radio tower so uh, this position apparently uh, after fighting is captured by the Russian forces because uh, the 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 forces that was trying to move uh, towards uh, towards uh, Horo Kovate got stopped and they were they were actually engaged in fighting. So while trying to advance to Goro Kovaka, uh, the mobile group of uh, advanced forces of Ukraine met resistance in the area of the village of Yasinovate, or uh, Yasinovatoye which means that the this area is now recaptured by the Russian forces. And this actually negates this entire stretch of the tentacle because the Ukrainians do not actually have a, a active control over this road. They simply transverse through the road. And uh, now with this uh, chop off here, the, the entire tentacle is kind of become shorter. And and uh, the, the troops here is around 2,500, which is uh, probably that means they are mostly more mobile centric. So we shall see you know, how this develops further. And uh, otherwise, the situation now it just looks like this. The Russians' have, uh, reinforcement have indeed made a difference. Uh, after all the air, aerial reinforcement, where the transport helicopter sent in a lot of troops, and then the ground, the armor, armor vehicles, the trucks, everything are flowing into Izum area via Oskil, and as well as uh, from the north towards Kupians. Uh, currently the situation uh, has stabilized in terms of the Russian side and uh, uh, and then uh, as far as I understand there is a massive amount of aerial activity from the Russian side the entire airspace is dominated and controlled by the Russian Air Force and uh, according to some information on the ground uh, reported by sim similarly by Anna uh, she okay so I just have to clarify as well she's pro Russia because uh, she's on the Russian side but um, According into information on the ground information from her is that there is literally non-stop aerial activity in this area. There is non-stop uh, Russian Air Force activity and um, there are also rumors. So this is not real, uh, just rumors that uh, some of the Ukrainian troops felt that they seems to got into a, a strategic trap. That means they, 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 they find themselves getting bombarded too heavily 
and uh, they felt that they see, it seems like they got into a trap but on a strategic level so this is some of the things that is uh, being uh, chatted uh, some of the chatters that's going around so anyway uh, there is also confirmation of the capture of Shevchen Kobe uh, from the pro-Russian source Raiba as well as the capture of Chekolovsky. So this, these two towns, uh, very important towns, has been captured by the Ukrainian forces and uh, pretty uh, expectantly because uh, the Russian forces have already withdrawn from this area. So otherwise, the last thing I want to add is that uh, there is... Uh, there is a uh, strong rumors, ru still rumors are uh, not confirmed yet that there are Russian troops uh, on the eastern side of uh, the Balaklia. They have not entirely fully retreated from the city of Balaklia, um, but this information cannot be uh, confirmed just yet. Uh, I have seen uh, renewed uh, suspicion suspicions that there are still Russian forces over there. So anyway, this is the quick update over at the. Um, um Balaglia front uh and i'll see you in the next update please press like and subscribe